Hi, today's topic is three reasons you haven't found your soulmate and how to fix every single one of them. <laughs> I'm Dr. Diana Kirshner. You may know me from my Amazon Prime TV special, Love in 90 Days, and welcome to Love in 90 Days Live on my Facebook page, Dating to True Love Mentor. I'm thrilled that you're uh, with me, and I'd love to know where you're watching from. It's always a kick to uh, hear about that in the comments. And once again, today, we're going to give away a free copy of Love in 90 Days. Uh, so um, definitely make your comments, because I'm going to choose a comment at random to win a copy of the book. I'll jump on here after the live too. So if you're watching afterwards, uh, definitely add your comments. Um, last week, we actually gave away two books, one to uh, Jen Grazioza and one to Cher West. Um, and uh, Cher, if you're watching, uh, let me know how to get in touch with you to get you your copy. But you guys can definitely win one today. Oh, hey, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> hey, Anna. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and so definitely, um, you know, tag anybody who should be watching this so they can um, join in with us. You know, it, sometimes it seems like you will never, ever find your true, your real soulmate. I know what that's like. We've had so many people in our Love Mentor coaching program, and it's like, you know, you start feeling burnt out about dating. You, 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 you feel like you want to quit because it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I mean, I know what that feeling is like, and it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. You're kind of in a vacuum, and you don't know what's really, really going on and who's out there for you and Etc. 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 But today we're going to talk about three absolutely key reasons that you haven't found your soulmate. And really, I promise you, by the end of this video, you will know how to fix every single one of them. These are very, very important. So number one, number one reason why you haven't met your soulmate: you're going after the wrong people. That is, you're going after the wrong people. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that you're limiting yourself to a certain age, a certain weight, a certain appearance, maybe a certain profession. You know, one woman came into our Love Mentor Coaching Program. She said, no, I have to have an entrepreneur. Only an entrepreneur will do. Well, what does that mean? That means that she's ruling out so many other guys who could be even better for her. You know, the truth is, is that love almost always comes in a surprise package. I'm going to say that again. Love almost always comes in a surprise package, right? So you think you're going to be with a tall, lanky, dark-haired guy, and you wind up falling head over heels over somebody who's, you know, a little stocky, and he's not quite tall, you know, but he is, is a true prince. You see him as this mensch as this guy who you really like as a person and you feel attracted to and he's incredible in bed, right? <laughs> so, you know, love almost always comes in a surprise package. Please do not rule people out too strictly. Um, and the reality is that often when it comes in a surprise package, that person is better than you ever imagined. And I truly mean this better than you ever imagined. You know, I uh, my husband's better than I ever imagined. It's really the whole reason I do this. I want to pay it forward. But he's better than I ever imagined. I had a very difficult uh, upbringing, um, felt very rejected, abandoned, and not good enough, and settling for crumbs, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, luckily, I learned all the principles uh, that I teach now. And my husband is better than I ever expected. And he does not look like I expected him to look. <laughs> he does not. But I mean, I'm madly attracted to him. <laughs> 
So that's number one. You're going after the wrong people. You want to try dating against type. Just try it. Try dating against type. Give somebody a chance that you wouldn't ordinarily give a chance to if it's a really great guy. He's crazy about you. You know, give him, give him a chance. The three criteria that I like to see in terms of allowing someone to date you is uh, that number one, they're crazy about you. That is, they're eager to see you, reluctant to leave you. They think you're very special. They think you're amazing. They're willing to wait if you're not ready to commit. Number two, they're willing to grow. You know, there's no perfect partner, but if they're willing to grow, they could become amazing, especially if they are crazy about you because they're going to value what you're into. So they will grow in the direction of your interests often. So willing to grow. And number uh, three is meeting the soulmate basics. In other words, same value system. Uh, they uh, want the same goals. They, if you want a family life and you, know, you want to have children, they want to have children, uh, and there's some chemistry. Those are the three criteria that really work for lasting, passionate love. And you notice there's nothing in there about appearance or you know, profession, that kind of thing. But you do want to have them be in the same socioeconomic uh, status as you, generally, because you have more in common. Okay, so number two reason why you haven't found your soulmate yet. You're just not getting out there. You're just not getting out there. You know, you're working, you're Facebooking, you come home after a long day of work, you flop on the couch alone, you're just not getting out. You're really, really not getting out. And when you do go out, you're going out to dinner with your friends. You're going out with the same social network that you always go out with, right? Because it's easy and, you know, it's not anxiety provoking and you're exhausted anyway and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There are a million reasons. Um, but you're just not getting out there. And you have to get out there to meet people. You really, really have to get out there. You know, in Love in 90 Days, I talk about working two different sites or apps. Two. Two different sites or apps. One is a large site like Match or uh, Tinder. And I'm not affiliated with either of them, but I like them because we've had good results in our Love Mentor Coaching Program. And then one would be a boutique site like J date or Christian Mingle or um, or our time. Um, uh, you you want to you know our time for over fifties. Um, you want to get out there, and two different sites really can work out great. I also suggest what I call mentastic activities, and these are activities that have lots of uh, guys in them. If you're looking for a guy or a woman. Um, that you love, you're in your element, you know, it's, uh, it's fantastic, you're at sports, you're watching a sporting event, you're hiking, you're running, you're biking, uh, you're, you're checking into an investment course you've always wanted to take, you're taking Wim Hof breathing, which is all the rage for the millennials, um, and learning how to uh, handle you know, extremes of temperature out there, <laughs> lots of guys. So these are things that you're really, really, really interested in, uh, so you're in your element, you're alive, you have your charisma going, you're enjoying yourself, and you have lots to talk about because there's stuff that you're enjoying, and they happen to have a lot of guys in them. And that's the reverse if you're a guy looking for a woman, just the reverse. You go to classes that would have a lot of women in yoga, um, you know, personal growth courses, that kind of thing. Um, uh, does not mean going to bars, okay? Um, Bars, generally, you wind up with people who want to have a hookup. Uh, you may meet alcoholics. Bars are not great places. So if you think you're getting out there and all you're doing is going to bars, this is not a great thing. Um, instead, you know, as I say, I suggest that you work two sites or apps and uh, set up something that's really going to be fun, that's a fantastic activity you're really looking forward to. You know, you guys are going to go hiking. You're going to, you know, you're going to train for a particular race, you know, a half marathon or something that you really feel called to do. You know, when you're, when you're doing stuff that you really feel called to do, magic happens. You know, uh, magic happens. It does. It, it does. It definitely happens when you follow your bliss magic happens and chances are you'll meet some very interesting guys and even if it's not a guy that you're interested in dating you're meeting a lot of new people and each person 
has a network of at least 200 friends and family members who they can introduce you to. So <laughs> there's more possibilities. And number three reason you haven't found your soulmate is that the reality is, is that dating has become super complicated. And I do mean super complicated. And often you don't have the knowledge you need to find the one. Here's the thing, there are 200 million singles doing digital dating every month. I mean, this is like unbelievable. This is globally, but it's 200 million singles. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's a lot, a lot. Now, the upside of this is that you can meet a great match. The upside of this is I call this the age of abundant love. It's incredible. In fact, now one out of every three marriages starts on with a digital connection or online connection. And guess what? They're happier. They're happier. And these marriages last longer. Isn't that interesting? So these people who are matched online, uh, they're happier. They're more satisfied. They're having a great time. And the relationships last longer. And I do believe that's because the matching is better. There's a lot better match for you out there. That's the great news. This is the age of abundant love for you. And you could get a better match than you've ever found before. Now, the downside is that with all these people doing this dating on the sites and the apps, it's become a very, very fickle crowd. A very, very fickle crowd. And um, uh, for example, on, ten, on Tinder, even if you've been, if someone expresses interest in you, there's a 49% chance they will disappear. And this is after they've expressed interest. 49% chance they're going to disappear. I never want you to take this personally. This is what's going on now in the digital dating world. Don't ever take this personally. It has nothing to do with you. It's just a very fast, very complicated, moving game, you might say, uh, until you get into really meeting your real people, your real uh, matches with true potential. And don't ever take that that personally you know or feel like you're being rejected because this is what it is you know and it's a complicated situation for example on tinder um you can increase your engagement by 61 percent by just talking about uh having adventures you know and and there's actual knowledge that you need to understand how to make this work for you you really re really need the knowledge to understand how to make this work and, um, you know, so this is a very simple fix. You know, I, uh, I actually cover everything you need in this book in, um, in Love in 90 Days. I, I cover everything you need to know to make this uh, age of abundant love really work for you, you know. And there's just too many things for me to go over in the lives with you, you know, but it is all in the book. It's definitely all in the book. Right now it's on sale on Amazon for only $10.99. Um, and it was called The Dating Coach's Secret Weapon. It was featured in the Wall Street Journal. And um, all you need to do is, is pick up a copy and you'll really get the lay of the land. You'll understand how to work with this complicated dating scene, you know, and not get burnt out and, and not feel, you know, rejected and instead uh, actually feel good and find a really perfect match. So, and definitely put in your comments. I see Anna put in a wonderful comment. Uh, ah, yes. Um, and um, then you can win a copy today. And um, I know that you'll find it very, very useful. So those are three important reasons you haven't found your soulmate and how to fix every single one of them. And I know you can, and I know you will. And I know that uh, you will get uh, really a much better match because we're so blessed right now. We're totally blessed in terms of all the possibilities, you know, uh, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And you deserve lasting, passionate love with somebody who is absolutely crazy about you and willing to grow and, and meeting your soulmate basics. So, uh, definitely, uh, take advantage of the book. And, um, also you can go to love in 90 days.com love in 90 days.com. And there's so many things there for you. You know, there's a newsletter, there's, um, you can have a free session 
by phone or Skype with one of my love mentor coaches who are amazing. And um, also, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Love in 90 Days. And, um, you know, just hit the notification bell so you find out when the next video is happening. And until we meet again next Thursday at 2 Eastern, uh, lots of love.